Welcome to our porch on the ranch. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Colorado we can see. Yeah. To our we are swingers. We actually. are now officially oh, swingers. There you go. Yeah. I heard that about you guys. <laughs> now, you, you two have obviously worked together an awful lot uh, yeah. over over the years. What was it about the the ranch that brought you together? Because you've co-produced it, haven't you? Yes, we we we. I mean, we spent sort of the last 10 years after finishing that 70s show. Yeah. Uh, we never stopped hanging out. We've been best friends since 98. And basically, we both ended up uh, purposefully unemployed at the same moment, which was about two years ago, and said, this is our shot to get back together and put something together. And so we started coming up with ideas about what made sense. What did we find funny? I think people are finding the show to be relatable, yep. um, which is really interesting. Like. You know, it's it's a show about this, you know, conservative blue collar family trying to keep their family business alive. It's a show about, you know, the adult relationships between parents and children and brothers. And uh, it's really about the family relationships and the, the, the family and the dysfunctional dynamics. And, and an amazing cast as well, Deborah Winger, Sam Elliott. And, and that was really one of the is. things when we, when we put the show together, it was like, all right, you and I crush sitcoms. We know how to do this. Yeah. We're doing Netflix. Let's hire some movie stars. Let's beg some movie stars to yeah. come do this live show on a Friday night with us to show because we want to actually make this show a dramatic show because it's and a live studio audience as well that right you, that you on Friday nights yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah which is something that's new for Sam and Deborah and you know actually oddly like, while well, there it. are yeah, yeah. you know mentors from an acting perspective were there mentors from a sitcom perspective what's so unique about about Netflix as well yeah. is the fact that you can binge watch it because yeah. obviously once we knew that we were kind of coming to speak to you today we binge uh, we've been binging <laughs> I've heard that about you you guys that you're a couple of bingers it's not terrible words the, the, loo the loose women get bingy I heard yeah. we do the, the, we do uh, we've been binging we've been on... talking about it <laughs> that's, that's what everybody's talking about it. really we also have it's loose everyone. lips you know do you <laughs> we do yeah we do we that's haven't good. heard that oh well oh, we've heard you, have, you haven't been listening okay but the other big knows is that you've both got daughters now as well so congratulations to you both yeah, I know you. yeah do they get to come to the set we all just went from like cracking jokes like yes <laughs> oh yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. daughters yes, yes. So, uh, are you responsible yeah our babies our babies come every Friday we bring them on set and, and they fight over this one baby stroller <laughs> They both want to push the stroller. Why not just get, get another, another one? one. Well, well, that's logical. I have a second we're dad. Yeah, we're dads. We're dads. We don't like okay. fall into like baby logic. And, yeah, and what's the yeah. reaction been at home in America to the ranch? Have they enjoyed it? The American audiences. It's their favorite show they've ever seen. It's favorite, I've like heard ours. That. I know. Yeah. yeah, favorite show we've seen. Yeah. You try valiantly to tell <laughs> a horse goes into a bar joke, and yeah. you never quite get to the end of it. You know the end of that joke because I brought a couple with me. Oh, let me hear yours. Yeah. Because okay. I'm actually looking for. Punchlines. Oh, yeah. really? Okay, <laughs> so uh, you, you may have heard this. A white horse goes into a bar, okay. and the barman says, hey, we've got a drink named after you. And the horse says, what, Eric? That's it. Yeah. Okay. Because that, yeah. that's, that's, that's his name. Yeah. So you, just, it, you see? You see? I'm a big fan of that one. Okay, yeah. I've got another one. Oh, oh no. Eric? Sorry, I, I apologize for our jokes. A dead no horse walks into a bar, and the barman says, we don't serve spirits here. Uh, okay. Maybe horse we walks should, into maybe a bar. Maybe we the next horse ducks. <laughs> ah, <laughs> you see. That's you didn't, you Sorry, didn't yeah, want to watch. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Into it. Um, we've also heard that you two, uh, very quickly, you're a fan of a wee tipple. You know what a tipple is? A wee drinky. A, a, a one little of these? drink. One of those. Yeah. You know one of these things? Yep. Yes. <laughs> now, I'm, I'm a mum. What kind of tipple do you guys party with? <laughs> Pardon? Spritzer, I like spritzer. Uh, spritzer. Wine and soda. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Spritzer. Yeah. Anyway, we better give it. We've got some money. Basically, this is advice parent to parent. Oh, great. Um, because this obviously you, you, are, you are daddies now, this will get you through the day. Great. Right. I do need what that. What I actually. like to do, because obviously my kids are a little bit older, so they know what you're putting into your glass, yeah. is you need a Our mug. Do not. <laughs> you need a <laughs> mug it's, to it's disguise. Daddy's water. There you, you know go. That's what you can put daddy's water in. This is to put your daddy's water in. So that your kids don't know. I'm going to very That is a top parental tip. I'm going to put my daddy's water in here right now. Very good. You're putting your water into a loose woman. Lovely. Sounds good to me. That's a joke for the ranch right there. Okay, you can have that. Cheers, boys. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Thanks, guys. Just click here to watch more interviews with a whole range of famous faces. And click here to subscribe. It's free. So you'd be silly not to, really. I don't know if I would go back to stripping. No, um, maybe I would. I would. Uh, I don't know. I don't, I'm not sure. <laughs> maybe we'll do a third, third magic mic if everything goes horribly wrong. <laughs> <laughs>